What's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, Do It Jack, and no introduction needed, man. Let's get right into this, man. Some of y'all, y'all need to learn the art of shutting the fuck up. Now, let's get into it, man. The reason why I'm making this video is because I feel that it's very important for some of us to know that sometimes we just talk too damn much. Some of us run our mouth too much when we talk in, in situations where it's not even necessary for us to say something. Sometimes the best thing to say is to say nothing at all, all right? See, let me let me tell you something, right? Some of y'all got homies and some of y'all might, might be this homie who can't hold water. It's like every little piece of gossip you get, man, you worse than a fucking female, you feel me? You worse than goddamn Wendy Williams, you feel me? It's like every little piece of information that you feel is juicy, you gotta make sure that you tell it to all your homies. That little, you know what I'm saying, the little chick who let you, you know what I'm saying, hit it or whatever, you feel me? You going around and telling all your homies and guess what your homies gonna do? They gonna go back and be, oh yeah, I heard this and that, you feel me? Then it's gonna come right back around to her and then she gonna be like, well damn bro, I thought I told you not to tell nobody. And that happened to me before, you feel me? When I was about 20, I'll say about 21, 22, right? The little chick I was dealing with, you feel me, at work, you feel me, I met her at work. And you know what I'm saying? I ended up touching that. And I remember, you know what I'm saying, we used to have story time, like, in the break room, you feel me? At my old job. And everybody used to just tell stories and shit like that. So. Me got them trying to trying to make I don't know what I was trying to do at the time. I guess I was trying to make people believe like uh, that I I was just banging this chick out or whatever. You feel me? So I touched the little chick, whatever. And I'm sitting here in the, in the room and I'm sitting here telling everybody like, yo, yeah, man, this is what happened. You feel me? I met her here. You feel me? Yeah, you saw me talking to her. You know, because everybody see who you know. I say everybody talking to her at work because I worked at a pool at this time, right? So. We, like I said, we in there talking, and I said, I basically told everybody, like, yo, yeah, yeah, she let me do that, you feel me? And there was this one dude in there who was, who, he was talking to a girl who was friends with the girl that I said I had touched, right? Now, this is the young version of Jack, you feel me? The little bit younger Jack, you know what I'm saying? I should not have been running my goddamn mouth. Homie went back and told the chick like, oh yeah, man, Jack was in the room today in the break room telling everybody how you got them, was giving it up and all that shit. So she called me, you feel me? And she was like, yo, I mean, what, what are you doing? Like, I'm like, bruh, how the hell did you know about that? She was like, oh yeah, so-and-so told me that you told her everybody or some shit, you feel me? And guess what? She really ain't want to fuck with your boy no more. Some of y'all probably went through a similar situation, you feel me? Jack was running his mouth too goddamn much for no reason at all. Let me tell you something, right? I had to learn the hard way. Sometimes you just need to be quiet. You know those people who always telling their business, who always talking about somebody else's business? Those be the first people that'll write your damn name down to the feds or to the goddamn police if you ever get in trouble. Now, God forbid you ever do something that, uh, you know what I'm saying, you get yourself in a situation to where you did something with somebody and then they have to tell you. We don't want to get in that situation. But if you did get in that situation, the homie, if, if that dude is telling, going around, just, just, oh, damn, I'm over here knocking the cord, just telling people, just anybody's business, you best believe when you're not around, he's going to tell your business. And when he get in that room, he's going to snitch. You feel me? Them be the main ones who snitch. Fellas, you be talking to your homeboys about your chick, man. Yo, my chick do this, she cook, she clean, she do. You giving all your homies your business about your chick and then the homies be thinking to themselves like damn i ain't got that you feel me i want to have what he got you know i said let me go see what she bought and they might even try your chick you feel me ladies the same thing you telling all your girls how good your man uh you know what i'm saying uh, uh soul pole is and all that you feel me and then they want to see they want to try it out they want to experiment to see what all the hype is about you feel me? Sometimes you just gotta shut the hell up, man. Some of y'all are talking too much, man. Some of us, we, we, we talk ourselves out of money. We talk ourselves out of getting some ass or whatever. We talk ourselves out of a lot of things just simply by talking too much. Sometimes you just sit there and just be cool and observe, you feel me? And another thing that I think a lot of young homies need to learn how to do is be able to uh, have, the, have the ability to discern whether or not somebody is worth talking to. You know what I'm saying? You know how some people, dudes do this, and a lot of dudes do this. Now, there is that aspect when homies have locker room talk, right? Where dudes just kind of talk, you know, in the open about certain things. Don't make that a habit, bro. 
Don't make that a habit. Don't be letting people know your business, man, and all that. But what happens is, so sometimes dudes get around each other, and it's like they're trying to impress each other with the stories that they have. You feel me? You don't want to get involved with that. As a young homie, you might you're gonna do it. You feel me? You, you're gonna do it, but then you're gonna realize, like, damn, you're gonna find yourself doing things to impress your homies. You might even tell them some shit that ain't even true. Like, yeah, man, I did have sex with that chick and you didn't even do nothing with it. You feel me? Like, don't be that dude, bro. Don't lie just to be talking, just to tell, just to make it seem like you really. And, and I, I, listen, I've, I've, I've made these mistakes before. That's why I'm sitting here telling you, man. Don't fabricate nothing like that, bro. Just shut up. Just let them talk. Just listen. You feel me? Just listen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you meeting a chick for the first time, you going out with her and you just telling her everything about you, man. Some of us, we need to learn to how to, 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 to have people kind of guess a little bit. Like, leave people something to wonder about, man. Don't tell everybody everything. Now, let me, let me, let me uh, transition to this real quick. Your haters are some of the best listeners out there. Your haters are some of the best listeners out there. You out here on the gram, you telling everybody on the gram, you telling everybody on the internet what your next move is. Sometimes you just got to work in silence. Right now, a lot of people been hitting me up like, yo, Jack, what's up with the short films? You ain't coming with no films? Listen, I'm, I'm working. Just, just know that. Just know I'm working. You feel me? Because your haters, they be waiting for you to, to, to announce, to broadcast what it is that you're doing so they can stay ahead of you. They can stay a step ahead of you, man. Because if they know your next move, they're going to plot before you even can take the next move. You feel me? There's a rule in The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. This is a great book that y'all need to read. One of the rules is say less than necessary. Just say less than necessary. You don't need to give everybody details about everything that's going on with you, man. You feel me? Give them the gist of what happened or if you have to, you know what I'm saying? And let that be it. Some of y'all get into these damn interrogation rooms, the cops pressing you, talking about, yo, we're going to lock you up for five years or some shit. They be lying, you feel me? All you got to do half the time is just shut up, don't say nothing. Some of y'all getting pulled over by the police and immediately talking about, we ain't got no weed, man. I'm going to tell this story real quick. I was about 18, 19 years old, right? Back when I was smoking heavy. It was me and about two of my homeboys and my girlfriend at the time. We was going to Six Flags, right? And Six Flags is, if, if, if in case you don't know, it's a big roller coaster amusement park, right? So we go on to Six Flags, but before we go to Six Flags, we was like, yo, we want to get on a roller coaster high as hell. Like, so what we did was we pulled over one of the homies' neighborhood neighborhoods and we smoked some weed. Now we were smoking weed and everything, just out in the open, just smoking, and somebody called the police on us. Now we had finished smoking the weed or whatever, and we don't hop uh, or I don't toss the weed and everything, and then the police came around the corner, right? And they like, yo, man, we got a call that somebody is out here smoking weed. Now, my girlfriend at the time, or actually, let me back up. They didn't even say weed. They said, yo, we got a call that, you know what I'm saying, that it was some strange activities going on around here. And then my girl at the time said, I don't have any weed. There's no weed on us. And the cop said, well, damn, we ain't say nothing about weed. Matter of fact, y'all step out the car. You feel me? And I remember thinking to myself, like, God damn. Is you serious? You feel me? Nobody said anything about weed. Maybe they did think that we were smoking weed, but they didn't want to say it. But at the time, my chick was like, yo, we ain't, I ain't got weed. I don't smoke. And we looking at each other like, what the fuck is she doing? You feel me? Pulled us out the car, searched the car. They didn't find any weed. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up. Females too. Males, females, homies, hustlers. Shut the hell up, man. Stop telling everybody your next move, man. The haters is watching you. Don't think that they not watching you, man. They watching you, bro. Especially if you got something going on, you got a little bit of business about yourself, people are watching. They want to see when you gonna fuck up. A lot of people watch you not because they want to support you, but they really, they want to see when you gonna fuck up. And it's easy for them to know when you gonna fuck up based off of a lot of the shit that you be talking about, man. So zip your lips, man. Real spill. This is good gospel, man. Your boy Do It Jack just celebrated his 28th birthday, you feel me? So happy birthday to your boy. I was in Florida, you feel me, for a little bit, but I'm back now. And again, man, the art of shutting the fuck up, man. That is something that is very vital that you can add to your arsenal. Whenever in doubt, shut the fuck up. Now I'm your boy Do It Jack, man. You know where to find me on IG at What's Your Hustle One. Haters, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy. Get at me.